Hello, 3Designers. This is Joshua St. John, 3Design NYC on the forum, and this is the video demonstration series. Today's demonstration is called The Forum Demystified. You're all hearing me talk all the time about The Forum, this amazing online community where you can connect with other 3Designers and share information, and I have been encouraging everybody to get up there on every VDS. And then I go to a training and I'm sitting there with a you know, fairly accomplished three designer and he says, hey Josh, I want to show you something on the forum. And so I sit down next to him and watch him log in and it occurred to me he'd never used a forum before. Even though he participates in the three design forum, he'd never used a forum before. He didn't know a lot of things that I just take for granted. And this made me realize there's probably a lot of you out there who don't know how to use a forum. You don't know what an active topic is, you don't know how to navigate it, and um, this video is for you. I really want to show you that it's easy to use and um, encourage you all to get up there. So for that reason, I'm going to call my buddy Kevin Pugh, a three designer from Myers and Pugh Designer Jewelers, and uh, together we're going to walk through the forum and uh, just take a look at how to interact with it. But first, um, Kevin, w why don't you introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about your business and how you got involved in 3Design, and then we'll get into uh, the forum from there. My name's Kevin Pugh. Uh, the name of our business is Myers and Pugh Designer Jewelers at diamondstodiefor.com. We're in the Midwest near Columbus, Ohio. We've been in business for 15 years. Uh, I've been at the bench for 35 years. I uh, have started doing basic things, and I've gone into uh, hand engraving, bright cutting, wax carving, casting, pretty much all aspects of the business except for stone cutting. It's the only thing I don't do. Uh, we've got a full service shop. We do everything, a lot of restoration, a lot of custom work, all by hand. We have wanted to get into the CAD thinking that that's kind of where things are going. Uh, in the long run, that's uh, a skill that is very important to pick up to add to the uh, bench skills that we already have. Uh, I purchased the program about five years ago. I really like the parametric tree aspect of it, so we decided to go with, with redesign and immediately went to training. It was in the fall. I ended up not using the program through the busy season. I had no time to practice and pretty much lost most of what I had gotten. So, uh, so I was, it was a couple years dormant, doing pretty much nothing with it. Now I can assume after five years it must have been pretty frustrating to have had this uh, piece of software and to have never used it. So there must be something to driving you forward to put up with uh, you know, the frustrations of the learning curve. How, how do you see CAD CAM and custom fitting into your business in the, you know, the next five years or so? We, we see CAD as filling a, a nice niche where we can build a library of, of, of designs that we've done, then be able to go back and you know, make some changes. Also, just to be able to do things that uh, will allow us to we'll stand alone in our area in terms of of, of the types of things that we can produce. You know, we're, we're focused on custom in our business because we get involved in people's lives when they first come in to look for an engagement ring. After that, they're coming in to celebrate the birth of a child. Then it's, they're coming to celebrate an anniversary. You know, we w want to be there for a long-term relationship with our customers. We have a saying in our business, we make customers not sales, and that's how we build our business. Customs a big part of that because they don't want our customers don't want they come to expect something unusual, something that suits them and them alone. They don't want something that fifty other women have exactly the same thing or fifty other men. They want something that's unusual. So that's the niche that we that we occupy, and three design is one of the ways that we can satisfy that. Now, of course, CAD is there for you on the production side now, but do you have any hopes about how it's going to work into marketing and uh, other aspects of your business in the future? Uh, yes, we, we hope to do a lot of rendering. My, my big plan is to actually produce pieces, uh, do the renderings, put them up in the store, use them in my advertising. Uh. The, you're hitting the nail on the head. That's one of the greatest things about the new CAD cam 
that's um, coming come into our industry. Yeah, it's, it's there for us on the production side, on the design side, on the mold making, rapid prototyping. That's all there, and we can do that. And that takes a certain skill set. But then, of course, you know, the rendering and making videos. This is a completely different skill set. I mean, part of the beauty of 3Design is that all of those tools are kind of integrated into this one package. Yeah, I find it's very important for new users to set up a schedule and to commit, uh, you know, a certain amount of time every week to being in front of the program. And if that requires bringing it home and working at night or going in your office and locking the door, telling everybody to uh, leave you alone for a couple hours, I mean, you really have to do whatever it takes to get those hours in. Kevin, how, how many uh, hours do you think you're, you're getting in a week at this point? Oh, boy. Probably uh, maybe uh, maybe six hours a week, which is not a, not enough. So if you figure six hours a week for three months since the training, four months since the training, 24 hours. So in less than a work week, spread out over four months, you've been able to sell three pieces. Yeah, and I've got other things in the in the works, but that are not done. Well, I have to say that's pretty impressive. I'm really glad to hear that uh, you're producing jewelry. Now, um, regarding the amount of time, this is a significant time investment. Can you talk about the learning curve at all and, you know, n things you've noticed about it? Well, one thing I've noticed, too, is that uh, one of the projects that I worked on, I uh, spent quite a bit of time on it, probably maybe six hours on the particular project, and then... Uh, had to go back and, and start it from scratch, but I was able to re redo that in 45 minutes would have taken me six hours to do. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, can you explain how, uh, how you achieved this uh, time savings? That's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, well, I did all the things that worked and didn't do the things that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, th I think we would call that improving your workflow. <laughs> so, yeah, right. So I think that's, uh, you know, the, the further you go into it, the less time it takes to do the same things. Yeah, uh, I think it's important to keep in mind that as you're progressing through your learning curve, it's not always going to be this painful. Kevin, have you ever gotten up on the forum and posted anything or participated at all? Well, I've, uh, I've gotten there a couple times. Uh, I was having some trouble navigating. I've never been to like a chat room online, so this is, you know, kind of new. So needless to say, you've never used a forum or an online community before to, to share knowledge and to get information. No, no. I'm in the over 50 crowd and uh, only use as much technology as I absolutely have to, so uh, this isn't uh, as comfortable for me. Well, that's, uh, th that's totally cool, Kevin. Um, that's why I invited you here, and uh, hopefully we can clear up some of this uh, for you and get you uh, comfortable with the uh, forum. So I've, I've hopped over to 3design.com forward slash forum, and this is kind of the portal where you're going to get into the forum. Um, it is a closed community. It's only for us three designers, which is, uh, you know, it's good. It's really focused, but that also means that's really specific to just us, and that's why it is so important that as many of you as possible out there participate. So the, the first thing that we all have to do is uh, register. So when we click on register... Um, it's just kind of val uh, verifying your birth date before June 22nd, 1998. That's definitely me. And um, I do agree to these terms and conditions. We're going to want to take our time and, of course, uh, you know, read that very carefully. Um, for my username, I'm going to do 3designNYC. Uh, and my email address is joshua at 3design.us uh, my password is a secret and uh, my language is I guess British English <laughs> um, let's see I'm in Eastern Mountain Time where do I there it is Eastern Standard country United States okay so this is important this is the three design license number this number is um, on the back of your dongle 
So yeah, if you look at this uh, image right here, the back of the dongle has two numbers on it. The bottom one is um, your license number. It has six digits, and that's the number that you're going to need to uh, activate your forum ID. So uh, we're going to enter that in, and then uh, I use a PC, and then we have to hit the code to verify we're humans, and submit. Okay, and so uh, it has said that uh, it's going to send an email to my account uh, when it has been activated. So uh, we'll go over to my email and hopefully that shows up quickly. Okie doke, so here I am in my mailbox. I'm going to send and receive and see if and it has arrived. So it's a really... Um, it's a really brief and short message, but it says your account on 3Design has been activated, uh, so I can log in using my username and password. Of course, you know, write down your username and password and don't forget that. Um, if you've done this before uh, and you can't remember your login and password, get in touch with your territory manager and they'll help you get set back up on the forum. And uh, I'm going to log in. 3Design NYC and log me in automatically each time. This way I don't have to re-enter my passwords. So we're going to bring Kevin back in and uh, we're all logged in, we're registered, and Kevin, what are your uh, questions from this point? One thing I'm trying to figure out, how do I find what I'm looking for on the forum? Yeah, Kevin, that, that's a great first question. Um, it has multiple answers. It kind of comes down to what you're looking for. So l let's just look at the forum in general first. Uh, at the top, we have this frequently asked questions, search, members, user control panel, messages, and logout. Okay? Now, the, the next step down, we have view unanswered posts and view active topics. The first thing I always do when I get to the forum is I click on view active topics. And that brings me to a list of uh, the most recently discussed topics. So if you see down here, it says display posts from the previous seven days. Let's up that to the last month. So go there. Great. So now I have a list of all the topics that have been discussed in the last month. Um, at the top here, I have the video demonstration series. So the video demonstration series is the most recent topic people have been talking about. If I was to click on here, it's going to bring me to the first post in the video demonstration series. And it was authored by me, 3Design NYC. And uh, that, that's one way to go. But what, what we usually do is if you look over here the last post was made by Kelly and this right here this little piece of paper if I click on that that's view latest post and that comes down and brings me to the bottom this is the last post that was made alright so so that's how you kind of find what's going on most recently on the forum so click on view active topics and it brings you to this list and we have all these different topics these topics are actually called threads so that's uh, that's a little bit of vocabulary that uh, when you're using a forum it's um, common throughout all forums these are all called threads the other way to find is to go to the board index and that's like the index of a book or the table of context so here we have the English speaking community co uh, topics. We'll just stick with this for now. Um, we have how to use the forum. Hopefully, we're going to cover that now. General discussions, hardware, inside the program, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, if you were looking for a specific topic, you could go through here. The other way you could do is at the top go to search. So when I get into search I have a lot of different options. I can search for keywords like if I wanted to do loft and this will just search if we look here it's going to search all the subjects and all the message texts. So if I hit loft it's going to bring me back a lot of information about uh, every time that loft has been mentioned. So you, that, that may help you, but what you're probably going to want to do is narrow your search a little bit. So if we did loft, and then we did tips and tricks, and then we did topic titles only, and search. And I get 25 matches. 
And so that, that, that's how you can find specific topics. Or let's say you want to find something posted by a specific user. Let's take um, search for, we'll do 3Design NYC. And we'll search. 73 posts. So this is all the posts that I've made. And it's listed in... It's sorting by posted time and descending order. So I could change it to topic title, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you, you guys can start to play around with that. I, I hope some of that makes sense. But in general, when you get to the forum, you're going to want to look at view active topics. And then by clicking on the latest post, that'll bring you to the most uh, often discussed. But if you're looking for something in particular, you can either go through the board index and try to find it there or go to search. So, uh, I, I mean, I think that's a good start.